With the aid of fan favorite Caleb's 62-year-old Jeremy Clarkson continues to be followed in the hilarious season as he tries to operate his own farmland in the Cotswolds. Yet, when Clarkson's farm season 2 returned on Friday with a brand new batch of 8 episodes, he put on his Wellington boots and stomped into battle versus West Oxfordshire District Council. With a little assistance from his lighthearted and not-so-joyous ensemble players, including Caleb, Lisa, Charlie, and Gerald, it became apparent from watching season 2 that Doncaster's Jeremy, 62, probably spent some late nights and early mornings at attempting to raise cows, start a restaurant, and overcome local counseling red tape when retaining his red tractor status. The boisterous motor mouth also displayed a part of himself that is rarely seen amid all the news when he did so. After season 2 of Clarkson's Farm, netizens are shocked about the ways in which taxpayer money is being used. The Amazon Prime show, The Clarkson Farm, is being watched by thousands of viewers per day. The main premise of the show is focused on the tribulations and trials of Kalen Cooper and Jeremy Clarkson. These two try their luck at running Diddley Squat Farm. There are multiple things in the show that left netizens shocked and it made people take vows against the unethical behavior of the users. The cartel-like behavior of the West Oxfordshire District Council, WODC, has made people furious about its behavior. A few weeks ago, audiences, the fresh episodes of Clarkson's Farm, it infuriated them so much so that they called out the behavior of the District Council of West Oxfordshire as cartel-like behavior. It hit them that the authorities, which have the power to do good for the common public, can be stubborn in their verdict. There is some new issue that has irked the viewers tremendously, and it is badgers. It all began in episode 4 of the show. Clarkson found out that the new insemination process for getting cows pregnant has not worked at all. Then another calamity strikes. He learns about the new tuberculosis outbreak bovine and nature in the United Kingdom. It has been caused by the badger population. Many elements can cause the outbreak of this disease. For instance, deer and foxes can be the primary factor in spreading the disease. The veterinary expert Dilwyn Evans also explains that the disease can be prevented by calling these animals by landowners. However, the badger's population had been protected by law since the 1980s so as to stop badger baiting. The topic of blood sports is highly critical and it has received great attention from the common public. This topic has caused a rift among viewers. They're stunned to witness the fact that this issue concerns the taxpayer money greatly. Response of the users to the Clarkson Farm open fight with the Oxfordshire District Council. The continual disputes Jeremy had with West Oxfordshire District Council were another unappealing aspect for viewers. The farmer decided to build his own restaurant in season 2 and he faced them head on. The reality television series to turn the farm's lamb enclosure into a restaurant where he desired to offer customers fresh local products, the owner had to battle tooth and nail. Finally, Clarkson made the decision to open the restaurant in abandoned barns on the estate because, due to his size and age, he was exempt from applying to the city council for planning clearance. Those who watched the previous season expressed their frustration. One person wrote on Twitter, Can't see Oxfordshire CC doing well after Clarkson's farm, accusing WODC of wasting government money. Nimbism done right. Shocking expenditure of tax dollars. This was the response of users towards the struggle that the Clarkson had to do to achieve the establishment of a small restaurant. Response of the users to the Clarkson farm badger bait and its impact on the farmers. Seeing Clarkson's farm is really irritating, said Lori Liz. It provides how illogical our nation is. It's absurd to watch as badgers spread TB and obliterate farmers since they were protected during the 1980s to discourage badger baiting, which has since been banned. A nation with unnecessary red tape. The only thing I've deduced from Clarkson's farm too so far, according to Cow and Alex, is that badgers are costing taxpayers over $100 million and threatening farmers' as livelihoods. I started watching Clarkson's farm too last night, and I was startled that the taxpayer is paying over $150 50 million to compensate for the bovine TB problem. When this was going on, Bazarito Dorito questioned why farmers couldn't kill badgers since they were killing their cows. Hashtag Clarkson's Farm 2. We expect authorities to be lenient in whatever way they do. They should consider the public welfare about taking any decisions.